Hello, welcome dear aspirants. Hope you are all well. So today I am here to discuss with you syllabus of English literature for assistant professor in Karnataka. In Karnataka. So here it is an updated syllabus and very soon the new recruitment for assistant professor and lecturer will be notified. In that context, today I am going to discuss with you in detail the syllabus of assistant professor for English literature. And I also discuss with you how to read the syllabus in shortly and authentically that can helpful for the exam to crack this exam easily. So let us discuss now. So here the syllabus is defined and classified accordingly the UGC net slate exam it means the syllabus is also helpful for UGC net slate exam okay let's see unit number one drama so drama is very important genre of uh, literature so in each literature we can find drama so let's see what are the points and the aspects they have given in the context of drama so here is the very first point is beginnings it means starting of english drama where it was started and the different forms different forms it means it is the form they have given here so english drama began actually in 14th century so at the early stage it is not like drama but it is in different shapes like mystery miracle and morality plays so individually we have to study these concepts and for example they have given in that context like the castle of perseverance every man and mankind so these are the three different sub dramas we have to study next coming to the history and background of elizabethan age especially elizabethan theater and playwrights and very importantly university wits so here one or two questions will be definitely asked by the question paper setter so we have to study this part very carefully so let us see who are the very important uh, playwrights in this context so the very first one is christopher marlowe his master of peace dr faustus and his contemporary robert green Thomas Kidd and William Shakespeare. So we have to study William Shakespeare, his 37 plays in shortly, briefly from exam point of view, exam point of view. So we cannot finish William Shakespeare, we can only finish his works, I mean that his works. So coming to the next part is restoration drama. So this drama talks about society and contemporary life of the restoration. It deals with 16th century. So here very important dominant genre is comedy of manners. So in that context again William Wycherley and Congreve here we have to discuss his for example Wycherley's and uh, Congre way of the world and uh, modern playwrights let us see what they have given modern playwrights so John Galsworthy G. B. Shaw T. S. Eliot and G. M. Sinjay so most of these playwrights used dramatic techniques which are new to drama for example T. S. Eliot used uh, blank words in his drama gm sinji used uh, irish background so these are the things we have to study and coming to the next one is development of post war drama it means after 1947 so who are the very important post war dramatists the very first one is harold pinter samuel beckett john osborne Harold Pinter belongs to absurd drama, 
Samuel Beckett also belongs to absurd drama. John Osborne belongs to angry young movement. So this is all about British drama. We have to study. On these topics, I am going to bring you a very short and useful videos in our YouTube channel. So these are all the parts of British literature, especially British drama. So now we can jump to directly American drama. So let us see who are the playwrights are mentioned here in the syllabus. Okay, here they have given just three playwrights in American drama. Eugene O'Neill, Arthur Miller, Tennessee Williams. So, Eugene Will awarded Nobel Prize. Arthur, Arthur Miller nominated three times. And Tennessee Williams. He belongs to Absurd Literature of America. Okay, these are three important playwrights from American drama. So, now coming to the next part. I mean the next genre of literature. You need to American poetry. Let us see. What are the important poems, poets and re background regarding their poetry and as well as important literary and poetical movements. Let us see the very first point is origin. Again once again here beginning they are asking especially English poetry and its development at the various level actually it began in 6th and 7th century. Later it was developed as a written but earlier as oral literature. So from there itself and in 9th and 10th century we came to know the first English poems and epics like Beowulf, Brute and some others. So we have to study all those poems just in briefly especially facts about those poems. That is the origin and development of English poetry. From there we come to know that especially medieval poetry. So it is actually an age of Chaucer, Chaucerian poetry and his contemporary poets. We have to study. And in those contexts they have given some important poets like first English poet Chaucer, William Langland, John Wycliffe, John Gower, William Lydgate, Watt and Surrey. So almost they have given seven poets. We have to study them in detail, especially facts related to these poets. Now coming to development of English poetry and the sonnet sequence. So already we have come to know the development of English poetry. Now we directly need to concentrate on sonnet and sonnet sequence. So we know that already it is a poem of 14 lines and sonnet sequence means connection of these poems it means continuity of these poems like Shakespeare's sonnets, Sidney's Ostrophel and Stella. So these are these sonnet sequences. Next let us see who are the very important poets under the sonnet sequence like Edmund Spencer, Philip Sidney, William Shakespeare. These three poets are belong to Elizabethan age. Okay, we will discuss these poets in detail in the coming videos. Okay, anyway, coming to the next part, development of various schools of poetry. So, they particularly mention three groups here, metaphysical poets and cavalier poets. So, here very important note that if they mentioned particularly any group of poets, any school of poets, we have to study them in detail like metaphysical poets and cavalier poets both schools of poetry were contemporary to each other and contradictory to each other we already prepared a video on these two concepts we will update in our youtube channel so please do subscribe to our channel to get all those notifications 
regarding your syllabus and notes and also references so let us see who are the very important poets under metaphysical poets and cavalier poets the very first one is metaphysical poet john dun crash also metaphysical poet herbert also metaphysical poet and robert herrick he falls under both category metaphysical poet as well as cavalier poets some controversy behind him also we will discuss those facts in later videos and very important john milton he was lost renaissance poet he belongs to mid 17th century he was blind poet famously his famous work paradise lost paradise lost and he also wrote some sonnets on shakespeare and some minor poems so all those things we have to study in the context of john milton so coming to now directly next topic enlightenment and or new classical poets okay dear aspirants enlightenment or neo classical poets are period covers later 17th and beginning of the 18th century here they have clearly mentioned poets alexander pope he belongs to neo classical period or enlightenment age and thomas gray he belongs to latter part of neo classical poets however he is not neo classical poet or enlightenment poet but he belongs to transition period nears to romantic poetry so about thomas gray and his uh, famous poem uh, elegy that poem will be discussed in our coming video so coming to the next very important part in our poetry section the romantic movement here around 3 to 4 questions will be asked and have asked in previous question paper so that question paper we will discuss in coming videos so please do subscribe our channel to get all those informations and question paper analysis so let us see who are the very important poets mentioned here like william blake william wordsworth s t coleridge p b shelley lord byron john keats they are very contemporary poets and generally these poets are classified into two groups elder poets william blake wordsworth coleridge and shelley byron keats they are younger poets so it is kind of nature poetry the romantic movement is kind of revolt against the neo classicism okay we will discuss all those features in our coming videos coming to the next point victorian poetry victorian poetry is a 19th century poetry here we see the poets like uh, alfred lord tennyson robert browning elizabeth byrett browning she is wife of robert browning and thomas hardy and very famous he is also known as modern poet gerard manley hopkins there is one question must be reserved for this poet so we have to study his poetry features of his poetry and very important poems in shortly so coming to the next part last part our last section in the poetry part so let us see 20th century poets and modernism this is a big topic in the syllabus especially in poetry section here lots of literary movements and isms in the poetry so uh, before that let us see some of the poets they have mentioned very important poets like eats ts eliot derrick walcott look at walcott from uh, west indies and ole swank also w chardon he is british poet gabriel okora also african poet dylan thomas uh, english poet seamus heaney also english poet sylvia plath also english as well as american poet here we find some of the important facts like uh, dylan thomas belong wales seamus in ireland arden uh, english as well as um, american poet t s led born in america and became the poet of uh, england w b irish poet these most of these poets 
were awarded Nobel Prize. In that context, the syllabus setter has given these poets. We have to study their poetry and we have to analyze their poems so that we can get understand their poetry and we can easily answer in our assistant professor exam. So all those things we will discuss in our coming videos. So now going to the next section. Let's move on. Unit 3. Fiction and short story. So here two concepts you should remember. Fiction and short story. Here they have given very clearly historical development of novel as a genre. It means here they may ask one question without missing. So the beginning of English novel in shortly 17th century is the beginning 18th century is the great era of novel. So that's why we have to study these two periods these two literary ages in the context of development of the novel. So they have given beginnings of English novels. Anyway we have to make list of the early novels and the novelist let's see who are the very important novelists here early novelists like daniel defoe samuel richardson henry fielding and lawrence turney so they are the these four are the uh, very famously known as uh, three uh, uh, cycles of novels of novel so Daniel Defoe belongs to 17th century and early 18th century. Samuel Richardson, Fielding and Stern came later in 18th century. So the, their works are very important. We have to study them in detail, especially factual points about these uh, novelists as well as their works. And early 19th century novels. It is an age of novel. Please keep in mind. It is an age of novel by the critics. So let's see who are the important novelists. Jane Austen, Mary Shelley, Emily Bronte, Charles Dickens, Leo Tolstoy, Gustav Flaubert from France, Tolstoy from Russia, George Eliot, Victor Hugo from France, Oscar Wilde again England, Thomas Hardy from England. So here mixture of the different world famous novelists also are mentioned here. So, this is a great task if we study these novelists in detail. So, we, it is very interesting section, especially who are interested in fiction or novels. Anyway, we will discuss all these writers in detail in the, our coming videos. Now, jumping to modern novels and postmodern novels. Let's see who are the modern novelists here. The very first one is D. H. Lawrence, David Herbert Lawrence, E. M. Foster, Edward Morgan Foster, Virginia Woolf, George Orwell, Graham Greene, Chinua Chube. He is Nigerian, Doris Lessing, English novelist, V. S. Nepal from West Indies, Kazao Shigeru from Japan born English novelist. These novelists are very important. In the context of modern novels as well as postmodern novels. In postmodern novels, especially Chinua Chibe, Doris Lessing, VS Nepal, and Kazao Ishiguro. Dear friends, here pronunciation may be different by the different people. Some people may say uh, Kazao Ishiguro, some may people say Kazao Ishiguro. So, anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, these are the important fiction part. We have studied the important novelist and very important work. Some factual points about these novelists. Now, unit number four. This is very interesting topic and it is very easy topic if we understand it very easily. It is kind of a, a practical syllabus we can call it as. So look at this. They have given clearly language basic concepts. We are going to become a teacher or professor of literature 
it means we must have mastery over language and literature as well especially theories of language and methodology or pedagogy of english language and finally english in use okay so the practical usage of english dear aspirants and friends we are not all are perfect in our english so we may have errors in our english but as teacher of english and literature we must to master over english language so let's see what are the important uh, parts in this part language teaching part and nature of the part and let's see what are the english teaching methods particularly they have given here the very first one is the direct method and second is grammar translation methods audio lingual methods structural approach physical response communicative language teaching the silent way task based language learning the natural approach the lexical approach please dear aspirants you please concentrate on particular words in these methods like direct grammar audio lingual structure physical communicative silent task natural lexical these terms tell us something its meaning so that's why uh, this is a very easy topic uh, they have mentioned and if we not care uh, if we not careful we may lose marks here okay 